Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's our next topic. Oh, same topic, chemistry of gases, but now we're going to take a look at an example of how to calculate the density of a gas. So let's say we have a scuba tank, volume 30 liters, and let's say we fill it up with air. Now, we will learn later that when you fill up a scuba tank, you may not always want to fill it with air. You may want to fill it with a different kind of mixture depending upon how deep you're going to dive. So let's say you're not going to go very deep. It's just going to stay just below the surface of the water, looking around at the kelp near the surface. And you fill your tank full of air, but you pressurize it at 80 atmospheres. And let's say the temperature of the gas, once it's, it's loaded in there, is 10 degrees centigrade. What would be the density of that air in the scuba tank? Scuba tank, not scuba, but scuba tank. All right. Uh, well, I always like to start from the uh, basics. I like to say that the definition of density is equal to mass divided by the volume. I also like to start with PV equals nRT. And also, the definition of the number of moles of a gas is equal to the mass of the gas divided by the molar mass. So if we then plug this relationship in there in the ideal gas equation, we get PV is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass times R times T, and then we want to have M over V, so when we move things around we get P times M divided by R times T equals M divided by V. So that's just simply rearranging this equation into this form. So now we can write that the density of the gas is equal to the pressure times the molar mass divided by the gas constant and divided by the temperature. So if we now plug in the numbers, pressure 80 atmospheres, so that would be 80 times 1 atmosphere, which is 101,325 pascals. Multiply times the molar mass of gas. Now, gas is about 3 quarters nitrogen and about 1 quarter oxygen. It's got some other things in it. But let's say 3 quarter nitrogen and the molar mass of nitrogen is 28 grams per mole. And it's about 1 quarter oxygen and oxygen is about 32 grams per mole. So if we do a weighted average using the two most important components of air, uh, you get about 29 grams per mole. So that's good enough for us. So we say 29 grams, which is 0.029 kilograms per mole. So that's the molar mass in kilograms divided by the gas constant 8.315. Uh, sometimes I write five, sometimes four, it's about the same. That would be joules per mole times Kelvin. And the temperature, right? Zero degrees centigrade is 273. 10 degrees centigrade is therefore 283 Kelvin. 10, 10 more than 73, so 283 Kelvin. And that should be the density in kilograms per cubic meter. And I was looking for my calculator here. So we got 80 times 101.325 times 0 0.029 divided by... 8.314 and divide by 283 equals and looks like 99.9 .9 moles per cubic meter. 90, oh, not moles, but kilograms. 99.9 .9 kilograms per cubic meter because we're using the standard equation for density, so the units are going to be kilograms per cubic meters. So, if this was a cubic meter, you would have 99.9 .9 kilograms, that's over 200 pounds of air packed in there. Luckily, the scuba tank isn't that big. It's only 30 liters in size. So then what would be the mass of the air? So now we can say that mass is equal to, now let's take our equation right here. This density equals mass over volume. So therefore mass is density times volume. So density times volume. We just got the density right here, which is 99.9 .9 kilograms per cubic meter. Now we have to multiply times the volume. Now the volume was expressed in liters. 30 liters. So now we have to convert from liters to cubic meters. So one cubic meters on top, liters at the bottom. One cubic meter is a thousand liters. All right, so we take 99.9 .9 divided by a thousand, multiply times 30, see what we get. So divide by a thousand times 30, and we get 2.997, so that's about three kilograms of air, which is a little bit more than six pounds. So you put air into a scuba tank at 80 atmospheres, 
you have about six, six and a half pounds of air packed inside that scuba tank. So scuba tanks that are loaded up with air, they get to be quite heavy, not only because they use a very thick, strong metal to hold in that high pressure gas, the gas itself begins to weigh quite a bit once you load it up at very high pressure. So that's how we find the density and the mass of air inside a particular volume.